One of the challenges that new business owners face when they're looking to grow their business is actually when to employ your first member of staff. It was one of my challenges 10 years ago when I was looking to grow my business. When is the right time? If your business currently revolves around you and you do all the work, you do the sales, the marketing, the production, the service, whatever it is you might do, how do you actually go from that to employing your first member of staff? Now, when I decided to employ my first member of staff, it was because I had committed myself to get into a certain level. Now, when I took on my first member of staff, I thought, actually, I don't want one or two staff. I want 50 or 100 staff. So my vision was well in the future, five to 10 years. Now, when you're thinking about your first member of staff, a lot of people always all think about the salary. So they think 20,000 a year, 25,000 a year, 30,000 a year. But when you bring on new member of staff, it isn't about their salary. It's not about the £30,000 because you're not paying £30,000 up front. You're paying that in 12 chunks or 52 chunks, depending on how you pay them on payroll. But ultimately, it's about what that member of staff can do for your business. If that member of staff can relieve 50, 60, 70% of your time in what you're doing, you'll have that time to then develop your business and do more sales, do more marketing, which can then grow the business. So it's all about looking at how that time spent or that money spent invested in the business can help you push on in the future. So it was a great challenge of mine and without my team now, my business wouldn't be flourishing and it continues to grow. So you have to take the business forward and you have to look at the way in which you can take on that first member of staff to hit your visions and your goals and to improve your business.